So now that whatever it was that happened just happened, we're gonna just run away now. Or at least I'm gonna just run away now. I try to anyway. I really hope that nothing else bad happens. No idea how useful my hearts are gonna be, so let's try not to lose any. Um, can I go up? Nothing there. Probably nothing up here either. Yep. So that's waste. Be careful. Alright, so now I just gotta go around everything again, and then we should be fine. So. Oh. I've seen that happen. That's death, apparently. Up here, up here. Uh oh. Well, with luck, this will sp this will spawn me. No, it didn't. I figured I could. I figured I could maybe break it a bit by uh, having have it spawn me where I needed to go. But nope, too simple. Up here then. All right, I'm back around this side. Slide down and then back to this way. Which should be the way I need to go now. Yes, it is. Fair enough. Okay, don't touch the electric thingies, whatever they are. Sealed off gate, whatever. Lesson learned. Careful. You always gotta make sure to use that slide mechanic. I'm just going deeper and deeper into the bowels of this place. Oh, hi. Crap, more people? Are you kidding me? I'm getting tired of laying low. He seems to be friends with that magnet flame guy. Maybe the flaming one is Retina. I wonder which one's Ractor. Though that's his Ractor, probably. It's the one that isn't Hunter. You know? You know. <laughs> what is the timeline? It's like, what, four years? Two or four years? I think four years. Yeesh. Really no telling. Only he can answer that question. I'm pretty sure he'll tell you that it's boring. Sitting in a plain old tomb for the last couple of years, yeah. He'll definitely say it's boring. But now, things are finally looking up for him. If one of that rotten spell hadn't been casted, I would have freed him long ago. But certain circumstances kept me from doing so. Now that Mario and his pals are all busy with the little strike at the Mushroom Kingdom, I'm sure coming to this temple is the last thing on their minds. What? Strike on the Mushroom Kingdom? We, we didn't have to do anything. Anything. Ractor, I know your power has barely been put to test by the Enlightened. But don't ever go underestimating the power of the Devious Four. We stand... You... Withstand is one word. We withstand any and all tests. Scorpion can never be affected by the same spell twice. His systems have already adapted. So he's the Borg, is what you're saying. I'm sure he's developed a counter that stunning spell by now. Just need someone to release him from it. Fair enough. Oh, that's kind of cute. Well, not really cute. More like touching. Very touching. More than you know. You are a devious four raptor. I'm sure Scorpion will also agree with you when I say that you are my equal. You might not be as strong, but you are what you are, my partner. Well, that's adorable. So again, I ask: Is the strike assault in the Wishing Kingdom? No, it's not because things. Yeah. 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 That attack never happens. Might put a damper on things, maybe. Can't say I wasn't expecting this. Without Scorpion around, those drones aren't very efficient. The Strike Abyssal was just designed to have Scorpion commanding it, and I'll put things back by a long shot. No matter, though. All those problems will be relevant when he wakes up. Hmm. He's thinking, I think. No. Nothing you did. You're doing a fine job. I just need to take care of something. And problem taken care of. Alright. I'm sure Britain is having trouble clicking the second piece. That girl's made of snow after all. Let's go help him out. You really shouldn't have a problem if, if, you know, if he's made of snow and fire, you know? He shouldn't have a problem. The fact that he's having a problem seeks wonders to Ifer's ability to exist. 
Can't really say it in any more plain terms. Problem. What problem? He's probably referring to me. Yeah. He was talking about me. Well. Not exactly doing that good of a job hiding. So I'm in a pit now. And I'm falling into my doom? Is this where I die? I uh, don't know. I'm falling an awfully long way. Oh, I'm in the spotty place now. Oh, husks. Let's not mess with the husks. There's a pipe. Convenient pipe here. This is going to be a hard point, because it always is a hard point. Uh, there are enemies here now. And we have bats, and we have those um, slimy, oozy thingies that I can't know the name of, and they're down there, apparently. Okay, so they're camouflaged so that I can't actually see them down there. So, whoa! Right. That was accidental. So, I actually have to be, I actually have to look very carefully to see where they are. Whoa! Okay, that screwed me up, but it's okay. I recovered. I really need to keep my eyes close to the screen so that I can see when, where things are. This is going to be a bottomless pit, like right here. It's like under. Oh, too late. Oh well. Still have the one heart point. I actually wonder now if I have a dying sprite. I probably don't. No, I don't. Figures. Slide under. Whoa, don't actually slide. Uh, jump and jump. So I'm just going deeper and deeper into the thing. Because, yeah. I'm never gonna get out. Meanwhile, at the other place... Well, I'm, I'm totally lost. I have no idea where I am right now. Something, yeah, something did, in fact, happen. So, you know... You know... I'm totally ignoring the fact that he just called me a prick. But yeah... You know stuff. Oh, you know, I really wasn't expecting the whole falling into a trap thing. I suspected as much when I saw that the, the platform was just a block wide. I really should have seen that coming. But then again, I can't really see in in side scroller, so I there was no really there's no I could have there's no way I could have known. So Well there's five in there now. Not four. There's five in there. Okay. Can she... Wall jump? Okay, she can wall jump. Although, I don't think going the exact same way that I came in is going to be that effective, so we're going to try something different with her. And we're going to try and go the place I was in. See if there's a thing here or not. Did she make her way through? Oh, there's a thing here. Just a coin. Oh, she actually has a cutscene here. It's a wall. Certainly, that's a wall. Meanwhile, I'm up to work. I'm sure, I'm just not so sure what that means, but whatever it is, I'm up to it. Leap of faith. Okay, maybe not. Alright. Switch. What? What switch? Hang on. Back up a bit. Oh, there's a switch right there. I can't, I couldn't see it, but it's right there. Something happened, but it didn't occur where he currently was. Something happened elsewhere. A simple way, to, a much simpler way to put it. Ah, uh, traps down. Can I go up? No. We're gonna have to go this way then. All right. What am I dealing with here? I'm dealing with absolutely nothing because there's nothing here. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Didn't see there's a way up. Maybe there's a way back around here if I can just. Oh, let's try that again. Nope, that's a roof. All right. This thing, I'm, I really have no choice but to fall here. Seems as though that's what was supposed to happen. Yeah, floor's very weak. 
Yeah, a lot of things aren't fair in this in this series, you could argue. So, um our our uh, five man crew is now down to three men. So, yeah. This is turning out well. Well, there's really only one thing to do. And that's to just go back to where Spiritual was and see if we can get her out of there. We've gone through like three player characters at this point now. This group is turning out to be completely ineffectual at what it does. Cause, cause, cause it's not really going that well. This is why you're supposed to prepare for any and all contingencies. Whoop! There's the hole. The entire thing collapsed. That's uh, that's something right there. Wow, she actually didn't break a bone or anything. She's standing on bricks. I wonder how deep that room actually is. She must have fallen for a while. Just a couple of seconds. I feel like she's not hurt too badly. A lot of things. It's not the drone room, is it? Well, now I'm Mario again. Oh, we're going back down here now. It's the drone room. Right. So it's the room with all the dead drones. That is a mountain of drones right there. shells. A lot. A lot. That's my guess, exactly. Yep, it's, it's, uh, it's, um, it's quite the, the, the mathematical equation here, but it's a lot. It's a lot. An awful lot. Alright. So it's an army, and then, and then once it turns on, things are probably going to go to hell. So, yeah. All right. So now we have to go around and go back up. So let's go back up the way I had come up from before. And let's go this way. Come on, up, and up. Now by this time, I'm pretty sure Iris and Ifer are dead. Or about to be dead. Well, there's um, there's Ifer, and there's uh, Magna, or uh, Raptor, and Hunter. All right. So let's ignore the fact that Hunter and Retina were supposed to be the same thing, not really, or something. I forget what it's all supposed to be about. But in any case, um, this is it. This is the moment we've all been working towards for so long, oh so long now. Our friend Scorpion has been trapped inside the sacred place. What? This land shell in here is this incubate. What? You're gonna have to rearrange that sentence to make it sound um less dumb. I'm sure our friend is eager to escape and walk on his poor four legs again. Let's say the rest of you. Any objections? I don't think anyone would, uh, would, would have any objections. This music is very loud. I'm gonna have fun editing this to make everything mix. It's not gonna mix well. You all obviously have no idea what you're talking about. I know Scorpion Bear and the whole lot of you ain't gonna be doing any walking. It's gonna be running. It's gonna get back to work on the one thing we've been working on since we've got here. Opening the orbital void. And we'll all have unlimited strength, power, speed, and life. I thought you already existed eternally. Why do you need even more unlimited life? You already are immortal. You've been existing since the beginning of time and space itself. You don't need to be any more immortal than you already are. Because you already are immortal. You can't be any more infinity if you already are infinite. That's not how it works. Scorpions will be waking up now. Let's use the energy we sat from those two magicians. So they're dead. Especially her. I would assume she's very, uh, melted by now. So they're dead. 
This thing's already down two protagonists. Well, not really protagonists. It's down two characters. Because the because two of the major antagonists just got dead. Positive energy. Would you really call that positive energy? Think about this for a minute. Would you really call what they have positive energy? Especially Ifer. Considering her whole entire being is made up of energy. Not really positive energy. Considering what she means in her series. I'm just throwing that out there. Way to go, Hunter. Wait, what? No. I'm messing all this up because I went on that monologue. Oh, well. Just you guys wait. Scorpion will soon be free. Right. So everything's going weird. Oh. Meanwhile, I'm going to grab my heart points. And then, just going to try and make our way this way. Um, I'm going to have to go up on these spikes, aren't I? Yes, I am. So let's try and do this right. Careful now. Uh, that sucked. It's fine. Yeah, that sucked. But oh well. I'm assuming this pipe's probably gonna take me back to a place. Yeah, it's gonna take me back up here. So let's land here. Let's not get burned by the fire that doesn't exist anymore, apparently. Alright. So what's gonna happen here? I'm probably gonna jump in there. I'm probably gonna get fried. Ah, well. It was a good existence. I can't actually go this way. I'm gonna have to go down and join the others. Or just, you know, walk up to them. That works too. Hey, what's going on? This whole temple is reacting to something. You're not gonna stop them? You're not gonna spring into action? No jumping? Just gonna stand there? What? Well. Well, see? Why doesn't anyone try to stop it? Where's the, well, well, you know, normal sacrifices. It could work. But we would need a whole minute. Well, I wouldn't worry about that, considering the fact that there's four powerful beings. Even though, like, one of them's the same person, and they're about to resurrect another being. Isn't this party down one person? There's supposed to be five people here. Okay. Okay. Yes. I feel the power. His power. It's alive. It's alive? He's alive. Yeah. Now today he isn't. Sentence structure. Work on it. Okay. So what the hell do I do here? Just walk into the beams? Nope, that didn't do anything. Why didn't I die when I did that? That was weird. Okay. Got you. Fair enough. Well, you know, considering it was just... Where's everybody else in all this? Like, like where's, where, where was the whole... There was that whole rallying thing? And then, and then nothing happens. This is all. This is all kinds of weird. It's all kinds of weird. Okay, it's like an egg. Ah, there's, there's the the fifth party. Quite. Although, it's not like you have anything to hide about insanity. In fact, you should know that better than anyone else. Right, Shaniqua? Or should I say, the Helm of the Beast? Well, this is new. Right? Hmm. I know everything. Did you forget that quickly? Well, he is omnipotent. How can you forget someone's omnipotent even fall fighting them for the past couple of years? Even more. I'm surprised she's never told you guys. Well, we did just kind of meet up together. I mean, except for myself and Janiqua, I mean, we did just kind of meet the other three just now-ish, a couple of hours ago. Mm -hmm. Which has her own undeniable destiny to fulfill you, Janiqua, for the reason why Gan was able to resurrect in Hyrule a few years ago. The negative energy he made was far too pleasing to me. Scorpion's bound to have been happy with the outcome. 
hill that was under the ground your mother was taken to begin in sacrifice. Luckily, Scorpion and I managed to snatch a little bit of that. The Orbiter wouldn't have been such a success if it wasn't for you, Shaniqua. I commend you. As far as I'm concerned, you're probably the most dangerous thing on this planet right now. The Sphere of Order would have trouble keeping up with the predictions of what kind of damage other resurrection would cause. Hopefully, Rack doesn't do anything. Fair enough. Hey, you stop picking on her. I'm gonna kick your ass right now, and then nothing happens. Because that was a delayed reaction, and I'm very ashamed of myself that it happens. Alright. Oh, it's happening. It's glowing. It's glowing and he's evolving. And there's no B for me to press. Well, I could press B, but I doubt it'd work. There he is, in all of his purple glory. That is quite the redesign. That is quite the redesign. Kinda like it. I mean, purple's of a fitting color, more than the blue he was, and the blue eyes, better than the orange ones. As you can see, I finally freed myself of that inconceivable carcass I've been kind of clung onto for so long. Being a part of one of those servants was just too much to bear by that point. It's good to see you finally awake. Tell me. Fully functional. Figured. You know, you know, you kind of have to because you know all the power that's got fed into you in order to break you out of that prison. Yeah, we're kind of right here. We kind of didn't do anything. We're kind of shit. Yep. Mm. No. Yeah. Fair enough. I don't know. I mean, my dogs don't really get in the way. I'm pretty sure I know a few cats don't get in the way either. I don't know. Alright. Yes. Probably. It's probably crashed a few times. Don't you worry about that. Magnet Rector been carefully watching over it. It still works. It still works. That's just oversight right there. But it's cannon and rift generator a major tune up. Yes, OPDPG is actually down the frick. What? Alright, this needs this is gonna need a lot of grammar and spell and, and, and word placement checking before it, it for, um, yeah. This is like the fifth or sixth, no, seventh or eighth time I've had to stop myself while talking in this cutscene. Well, you know, when you turn off the master controller to, to huge robotic armies, they tend to shut off. And that is a shockwave of pulse things. Eh? Oh. Wow, that's a fast signal. Must have had relays everywhere. Right, so that means the million, the million or so husks that are under the ground are just about to wake up now. Resort to using the residence of my synth, and that apostrophe. Does not need to be there. This is all over the place. There's more than one world. There's a few worlds. Alright. So. Open in. Yes. Alright. So he only needs three of us. The other two are, well, I wouldn't say the other two are dead me because at least one of them has actual plot significance. So that just leaves me. So I'm pretty sure I'm not coming out of this cutscene uh, with all of my organs intact. Three? There's five of us here. Unless both Shaniqua and I are going to die, in which case, oh. Okay. 
Okay. Wrong instance of the word bear. Well, I figured it was just because you redesigned, but if you have some spunky new power from the thing, too, that works, too, I suppose. Oh. Well, this is neat. Can't actually do anything, so... Now, see, that's the kind of cutscene I want to see more of. The whole controllable helplessness thing. I would love to see more of that. Because... That's actually pretty good. So what, we've been turned into statues? Ice? Frozen in time? Oh. Well, there's two hunters in there, technically. So, who knows, at this point. I wouldn't say he's near being awakened, because he did just wake up, and we did just kind of get frozen by them. Wow. That's, um... That sure doesn't leave much to the imagination in terms of spacing. Because you can already tell based on the 525. That's gonna be the Spirit Order. Mm, I don't know how long it's been. Four years now? That's quite the time skip. Although it didn't really look like we were being frozen, it just kind of looked like we were being obliterated. Wow. Oh. I would imagine it's been four years. If it's been four years, then why are they still destroying everything? I would guess they'd have hopped off this planet by now after destroying all of ex after destroying its entire existence, and then moving on to other things. So I'm assuming at this point, if we are if we do indeed get free at the end of this cutscene, that uh, there's probably gonna be nothing left. So I'm assuming there's gonna be just nothing but ruins. It's probably not gonna be any enemies either. This whole first ad contained no enemies except for the, what I encountered in the temple just now. That would actually be quite neat. Because from a storytelling perspective, everything is dead. Everything is dead. Or, um... You know, not dead. Everything is mechanized. Probably. Or maybe not. I don't know. Okay. So... Angel? Coming down from the great um, beyond. All right, I'm reminded of a certain movie. Uh huh. So he hasn't destroyed the world yet. He is going to destroy the world. He just hasn't yet. Even though he's had he's had four years to do it. How many people exist on this planet? If if we have Hyrule in one side, we have the Mushroom Kingdom on another side, and then we have the land that I'm from on another side. How long has the struggle been going on? I don't know. There's a lot of things to flesh out here. I'm assuming that's what the next few worlds are going to be. Fleshing things out. You know, you could just call it the Sphere of Order. Because there's not really anything to the imagination. Unless they're going to throw us a twist and this is actually something called the Sphere of Chaos or something. Or the Sphere of Five Letter Word. If he has time warping technology, why can't he just be. Why can't they just go back in time and just murder everybody? Just kill the enlightened off? That's the one thing I like about, about, about interesting inter time travel into things. That everything can be. Salt spit going back in time and murdering them in their sleep. Or before their, um, importance. I only really know about Chosen by Destiny. Only one, well, only four of the five actually have anything, uh, destiny -ous to to do something. Oh, that's probably how I die. I just get viciously murdered, and, and I, I just get viciously murdered at some point. By hero in time. That's probably what's gonna happen. Because apparently I'm still alive, which is surprising to me. Because I figured I'd have bitten it in the first act. Are we still in the first act? We're still in the first act, aren't we? I think we're still in the first act. Yeah, let's not let's not jump the gun. We were frozen. Our muscles should have atrophied a bit. We should be very, very stiff right now. It should hurt to move.
pretty sure it's been more than a year or two. The princess is probably dead. Hyrule's probably dead. The Mushroom Kingdom's probably dead. The land that, that I'm from is probably dead. Everyone's probably dead. I'm going to get home. I'm pretty sure all the I'm pretty sure the spirit world is 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 the combined combination of everything ever. So quick look around before this video ends. Everything's gone to hell. Yep, temple seems to have collapsed a bit. Everything is going all wrong. This platform's lowered, probably to go up here. We're probably gonna have to go around all the way back. Also, I noticed that there we do have a that, that the hood is right here is just blackened. So yeah, this certainly happens. I'm not even entirely sure what to say anymore.